Good morning, friends. Welcome to Coffee Talk this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining Chris and I. Mm -hmm. uh, we are Jeffless today, and uh, we uh, are uh, praying for him today. Uh, in that, um, uh, last week um, he he actually lost his mom, mm -hmm. uh, who was for many years dealing with um, uh, dementia and other things, and so. Uh, she passed away last week, and so he's not with us today. He's down in Michigan with family yep. and celebrating that. And that seems like a strange way to start our coffee talk time, but uh, we just want to, from the very outset, just say, Jeff, we're praying for you and your family. Absolutely. And uh, we want to encourage you as you celebrate her life and celebrate um, the joy that she was for, for you and your whole family and for your dad and your, your brothers. So uh, blessings on you in that. Uh, we are going to... Um, look back and then look forward and so like we always do so we look back at uh, this the very last mm -hmm. section of first John and so we're finishing up this series living in the light of love and even just that kind of tells us exactly what we're talking about today yeah. because John is kind of in a lot of ways pulling on this all together in in how we conduct ourselves and so it was really cool. Jeff started with uh, this this funny story about you know certainty and anybody who is certain is a bit of a moron. I love that that idea of the guy with two clocks. Oh yeah. Where one yeah. guy knows what time it is. Two clock, or if you have one clock, you know what time it is. If you have two, you are you're not really sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or or you know a dead clock is right twice a day. Yeah. Right. So. No, I definitely feel like Jeff must have been in my living room when he came up with that because <laughs> we have three different clocks. Yeah. If you're sitting on the couch, you can see usually three different clocks and it's like, they're never in sync. Yeah. <laughs> never. And but anyways. And like, yeah. that's the funny thing about the stage and the age that we live in mm -hmm. is if you have Google, you have certainty, right? And, yeah. and, and there's just this funny balance that seems to come up when we talk about, are you sure? Are you actually sure? Or somebody has a question in the group, mm -hmm. all of a sudden Google comes out or other things. Yeah. And, and it's just, it's a funny thing that we do as a society. And so uh, what this passage kind of points to is, is okay, look, look at it from maybe a more of an internal perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, where, where, is, um, where is our certainty laid out and, and uh yeah i know that's 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 great obviously there, we, we've touched on this a few times i feel like in the course of john right this isn't the first week we've touched on certainty um but at the same time as the three of us have talked you know in preparation for each week it just is a recurring it, it's come up a, a couple times right and uh, I, I feel like in faith there's a balance between certainty or maybe it's hope, right? Yeah. We hope for certain things, but even more than that, I think we can be confident in, in, we can be confident in Jesus, right? What John's pointing to is you can be confident in, in your salvation. You can be confident in your eternal future. Um, but we don't ever, I think, want to be so confident, so secure in that, that we lose room for faith. Like Jeff was pointing right. out that we are drawn to certainty. I think as humans, that's what we crave because there's security in it. Yeah. It's just nice knowing that every morning I'm going to get up and, uh, you know, like my car's going to start. Yeah. It's great yeah. to have that certainty um, or whatever that thing is for you. Yeah. You know, that, 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 that gives us, you know, it carries us through the day. Since yeah. that uh, we're going to, you know, I'm going to see my family again this evening. That's a great thing and a great comfort. And, and not only that, like, sorry, not, not to the sidetrack us, but yeah. like, there's a lot of those things that we actually need. Like, yes. if somebody showed up all of a sudden and said, actually, your name isn't Kevin, right. and those aren't your real parents, right? And you were like, some yes. some of these big major things, or, you know, um, a lot of these things that, that we found find foundational, uh, if that got changed on us, then... It kind of throws us off. So we do need yeah. that sense of we, foundation. We absolutely do in certain things, right? Yeah. And like children especially need to the comfort and security of, of just like be able to trust their parents, yeah. right? Uh, you don't, you're not going to, a child's not going to thrive if they're like, I don't know if my parents got this yeah. uh, or that they really love me. Like they need that. And I think we all need, like you said, some level of security, comfort, certainty, um, and comfort in certainty. Uh, However, I think if we're so, so we're, we, we pull towards being certain and wanting to find certainty, but I think if we become so certain 
um, we, we never have room then for questions yeah. and wrestling and faith and, and the idea like, like uh, Paul talks about, right? Working out your salvation. That idea of like, like wrestle with some stuff. Yeah. Like it, there needs to be also room in our faith journey for, um, for, for questions, for actually faith. Mm -hmm. For actually going, you know what? I don't know everything, but God does. Because yeah. I think if we, um, we can uh, in, in some ways even replace our need for God by having, you know, all the answers, yeah. right? And, and God wants us to keep seeking yeah. Him, keep coming in. And, and so there, that's why I talk about the balance between certainty and faith. Yeah. Certain in some things, yes, but faith moves us to keep seeking, growing, yeah. asking questions. Yeah. And that, that we often talk about like the process of sanctification. I think yeah. that that's, that requires needing faith and mm -hmm. needing belief. And uh, so he, I mean, Jeff in there talked about belief a little bit too um, but I don't think I remember the quote as well as you did. Uh, the, yeah, yeah it's funny he, he did get into belief and, mm -hmm. and it was just after uh, we talked about that that video where um, uh, you know God is life and then you mm -hmm. know we are we are in this zone and Christ is literally the bridge between between both of those things between yeah. life and and where we're at I don't want to say death but like, um, it was after that video and Jeff started. Jeff said, um, "Belief is is present, active, mm -hmm. and ongoing." Right. And and that that kind of struck me too because that that relates to so many other things. Because like um, uh, when I when I am understanding that I am going in a certain way, I believe this. But but yet sometimes life changes. Right. Yeah. Like. Um, Okay, maybe a little bit too close to home, but sometimes we just assume our parents are always going to be there, mm -hmm. right? Our my parents are getting a little bit older, and and it feels like it wasn't that long ago when they had their parents around, and we always just assume that those parents are right. Like, yeah. so life changes, and and things move, and we we adapt, but really, God is often wanting to actually take us on a bit of a journey, mm -hmm. not not that he not that he would lead us astray, but actually that he would take us on a journey of trust, right? So it's, you can say I'm going from this city to that city and you might think it's a straight line, but actually sometimes you have to be going through some of the valleys and, and winding roads and these different things because God actually has a better plan for you in those things. And, uh, and then ultimately we can trust that he's gonna take us from here to there, from this city to that city, from mm -hmm. current to into eternal life and so we can trust those things realizing that it does come down to god where are you leading me may i be ready mm -hmm. to be led in that not like a kid that you know we're taking on a walk and they take five steps and we're like oh are we there yet yeah. like this is the wrong way right like no i i know where we're going you got to trust me and you got to follow along and yeah that's like every car with my kids. Dad, are we going there? I've said this before. It just continues to amaze me how they can wonder if I actually know where I'm going <laughs> or not. But, you know, I, and as you were talking, I think Abraham, right, part of why he is praised and celebrated as a hero of faith is because he did that, right? He, it seems like he wasn't totally certain of where God was leading him, but he was certain that God was worth trusting. Yeah. And I think that's a good, a good way of in my mind anyways, how I kind of sort of, okay, if I'm balancing certainty and, and faith and yeah. belief, right? I, I might not know where God's leading, but I know that he's worth following. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to step out on. That's where I can be certain of. God is worth following, yeah. but I might not know where we're going to end up. And that's, that's what I tried to like kind of bring forward, even with the song that we did just before that, like, mm -hmm. you know, I've had some friends go through some dark valleys and some and some depression eras and you know and and I think anybody when they're in that sense of difficulty and uncertainty what feels like it's everywhere sometimes those simple reminders are actually what ground us you know I am loved by God yeah. mm -hmm. I am cared for by the people around me yeah. I I live and move and I have breath in me Mm -hmm. Right, and those simple foundational kinds of things actually can then say, okay, you know, I I'm ready to move forward, you know, and that's why the the 
um, the song actually said, you know, I'm, I'm fully known and loved by you and the fact that you won't let go of, of me and I can fully trust that. And so because of that, I'm ready to take another step forward, you know, and just that sense of faith because I can know what I know and realize a lot of stuff that I don't know, I don't need to know. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's difficult because we want to know. We've got to be certain. So, yes, it's funny. It's just funny. There's a, yeah, uh, I, I stumbled upon this um, video YouTube kind of podcast series where it just asked the question, if there was one button that you could push and it gave you like the definitive answer to the, yeah. and each week they discuss a different question, right? The question is like, um, I, I, I can't remember. I, I, one of them was on soul for example. Like, would you want to know, like, you know, like it's a classic example. Would you want to know the day you die? Yeah, right? I was if you could say push it. the button, and and it's interesting to see these two guys just kind of wrestle with that. And you yeah. would think, like, you know, and it's it's that. Do we do we want to know? Or do we not want to know? Like, yeah. Sometimes we think we do, but maybe we're best off not. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But anyways, and it's also interesting, like, it, 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 you know, okay, we look back. Yes, that's sometimes easier, though sometimes harder. But we look ahead. Well. We only really look a few weeks ahead, right? Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, make plans, yeah. and and yet uh, there's there are a few things that we do want to make sure we're all on the same page about as we go forward. Yeah. Uh, one of them relates to this very room we're in. You probably recognize it as the ramp room, but you might not recognize it, especially if you're new to Lakeview and you're like, "There's a ramp room." Uh, yes, we have a room with a ramp in it. Hence, <laughs> ramp room. I, I just love how brilliant uh, <laughs> the people of Lakeview were back in the day when they started naming things. Um, yep. Yes, it's a room with a ramp. Or the fireside room. Yeah, well, that's a, it's a little tricky because we took the fire out. Yeah, we took uh, the fire out. But yes, um, the fireside room. Yep. Anyways, we're in the ramp room, which is going to be one of the major rooms used by Sophia's Academy when the when the daycare is set up here in like the next couple of weeks, really. Yeah. Um, as things are moving, uh, the walls around us are all mudded, prepped for painting. Uh, the things that will stay or you know move to the middle, all this kind of stuff is going on. Uh, it's an exciting time, um, which will lead to even more exciting times. I think yeah. when we start yeah. seeing families find safe places uh, to leave their kids while they work um, yeah. during the day, yeah. which we we aren't responsible for, but at the same time we get to partner with a, yeah. with a group that's that's doing good work there, and so yeah, and and to see our building used well mm -hmm. and and. Yeah, so. wonderful things happening, and and to encourage this this couple that we are partnering with. Yeah, yeah, yeah very much. They've been like, no, we're we we're we're working together in how this space is used, and that's really cool. So we thought we'd be here today to film this because this might be our last chance, really, yeah, in a Wednesday morning, which is when we usually film, uh, to be in here because normally this would be well, pretty soon it'll be a place where uh, kids are. Um, doing whatever kids do during their, yeah. <laughs> their daycare. So I yep. uh, uh, look forward to hearing, which I'm sure there'll be some echoes down the hall, how that, how that works out. But yeah. uh, what else are we looking to hit on? We're looking forward to the 50th. Yeah, of course we are. Which, you know, we're certain it's coming. That, that we can know for certain. <laughs> so uh, that is uh, October 4th and 6th. Yes. So uh, we are done selling tickets. Right. We're done. I believe they've all been claimed. They've all been claimed and everything has kind of been yeah. taken care of because uh, we have people out buying food and making sure that uh, mm -hmm. all of the preparations are coming together. There's also a, a really cool program that's coming together for that night to kind of just recap our 50 years yeah. and to celebrate all these things and to have a nice fun meal while we're, while we're doing that. So that's on the Friday night. That's where we're kind of feasting and then we're going to be focusing on the Sunday morning. On the Sunday morning, we're going to be mm -hmm. uh, hearing from a couple of guest speakers and um, and seeing some testimonies of, of what God has been doing and kind of seeing where God is going to be leading us forward. And so it's a really fun weekend ahead. Um, that's not this weekend, the weekend after. So it's, right. it's right on the on, on the edge of, uh, hey, I know for certain I can plan out there to see. <laughs> but um, yeah, some really exciting things happening. So you can be looking forward to that and praying for... Um, that gathering, I think it's going to be fantastic, and continue to pray for Pastor Jeff as he's away this week, and uh, just I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And just as a quick reminder too, if you weren't available to come on Friday night or just didn't get tickets before they sold out, come Sunday. Yeah, no ticket required for Sunday. Yeah. Just come Sunday, 10 a.m. Right, yeah. our regular service time. Probably 
be a little longer, so you know, try not to need to rush away anywhere. But come Sunday and celebrate in the, the focus and future looking back celebration, mix swirling celebration that is going to be the Sunday morning the 6th. Yeah, and so with that, it's going to take a lot of hands to take care yes. of all of that. So we, we are looking for some volunteers. We really need some some helpers on the Thursday, Friday mm -hmm. of, of uh, setting tables and um, kind of laying out some of the stuff and, and uh, there's some food prep to be done as well too. Um, we have some people coming to help serve us as well too so that those who are involved with all the planning can be still a part of it and enjoy mm -hmm. it. But um, yeah, it's it's gonna be a really good celebration but we, but we do need lots of help and lots of hands. So if you can let us know, let the office know uh, you can email the office at office at lakeviewheightsbaptist.com and uh, we'll get back to you and find a spot for you, but thank you very much in, in advance for volunteering. So, we, uh, we finish off September mm -hmm. here in this beautiful sunlight and, uh, and we look forward to uh, seeing you in October on next week.